one of the things that I decided to do on myself after I renewed my fight to keep going was I wanted to figure out my why, why, you know, like I never accepted the mainstream message of your body's just attacking itself. I always had a thing for health and for studying health. And even though I got lost in the trends along the way, I, it was something that I always came back to. And I really loved studying the body and what was going on. And I just, I, I never did accept the fact that like our immune system just goes out of whack and it just, it goes crazy and it just starts attacking our thyroid and that's what makes us sick. And when you, when you start reading just a basic anatomy book and learning about the immune system um, and how smart it is, it, it really like changes your perspective on like, did my immune system really just start wigging out and like killing me? Because I don't see how that's possible. Like you have actual cells that are grown in, um, in your different organ systems that your immune system, it literally like matures, they mature and they're not allowed to be released into your body until they know the difference between like an invader and you. Like, tell me how that's going to get confused and start just like attacking you. Like, our bodies are amazing. And so if it's not just attacking itself, then what is it attacking? Like, or what is it doing, you know? And, and so there's a lot of confusion as to like what is really causing thyroid illness. And I feel like it's one of my missions in life uh, as a coach to start spreading the message of like what's really going on. And um, so the number one thing that I want to outline right now of what's really making you sick is nutrient deficiencies and they go along with heavy metal toxic overload. So those are two huge things. And how do I know this? So along the way, I decided to do all kinds of testing on myself and a part of the testing was all of my nutrients. So nutrients are things like your vitamin D, your vitamin B12, your iron, your iron panel, your, um, your magnesium, your copper, your selenium, you know, your minerals, your potassium, um, anything and everything that we have a test for, um, I've done, I've done on myself. And it was insane how, deficient I was I had like no vitamin D my B12 was down I had like no like nutrients and I even ate like insanely healthy so I'm like wow this is a huge eye-opener like we all live in a state of deficiency of so many deficiencies um, it's like it's just common for everyone to have like low magnesium low zinc low vitamin D, low vitamin B. And the reason why is because not only is our food toxic and depleted, but our environment just strips us. Our, the radiation from our phone strips us, caffeine strips us. So if you have to have all these nutrients on a daily basis in order to stay sufficient enough in them, but yet we're not supplementing with that. And then you have all these things that are actually absorbing them out of you and, and taking them from you and robbing them from you. Then yeah, you can see how there's just like this perfect storm to constantly being deficient. And so when you allow your nutrients to get out of balance, then it just makes it so that all the toxic heavy metals are able to get into your body. And there's metals everywhere. There's aluminum in our water. They add aluminum to our water. And you know, there's, um, there's, there's mercury in like, uh, there's mercury in the air. We breathe mercury in that comes from airplanes that drop it on us. I mean, the heavy metals are, are like everywhere. So just that right there, a nutri nutrient deficiencies in heavy metals, that can cause symptoms right there, but it doesn't stop right there. There's more. Um, if you're living on a processed, high processed food diet, high, sh high sugar food diet, that 
also leads into the deficiencies because you're not replacing the nutrients that you're deficient in. And everyone knows that processed food is not good for them. This is not new news. But what they don't know is like a lot of the whys. It's like, yeah, there's bad fats. Yeah, there's bad oils. But I really focus in on there's no nutrients, right? And then um, what happens also is when we're eating a deficient diet, um, it is not supporting our stomach blends from being as strong as they are, as they need to be. And our deficiencies also make it so that our stomach isn't creating the proper amount of acids that it needs in order to digest and assimilate, break down, and then help absorb into your body um, the food that you eat. So everyone's got low hydrochloric acid in their stomach going on. And that that's a lot of the reason why um, you're bloated, you have pain, you have constipation, your bowel movements are all jacked up. You know, everyone talks about gut health. And yeah, gut health is crucial. But what about stomach health? You know, your stomach comes before your gut. So if you don't have proper stomach health, then you're not going to have proper gut health. You're not going to have proper health in general. Um, so this was another huge thing that I discovered along my journey. And then um, another huge thing is um, infections. A lot of people are um, just riddled with viral, viral and bacterial infections. Um, the big word that you'll hear is SIBO. SIBO means small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, um, which is just basically a stew of pathogens inside of you that are also absorbing your nutrients and they, they release uh, poisons and toxins into your bloodstream that get attached to your central nervous system. That causes you symptoms. The actual bugs being in your body cause, cause you symptoms. And so, you know, that's a lot of things that your immune system is actually out fighting is the bugs in your system. And so those are the main things that I have, through my testing and through working with my own clients, I've been able to see this big picture of a lot of the reason why everyone is sick is because of not just your immune system's gone crazy and is attacking you. There are so many underlying reasons of why you are sick and what causes your symptoms. But the good news, okay, the good news about all of this is because I am aware of all of these problems that are causing all of these symptoms, I can help you fix them. This is, this is how I've been able to regain my health is I addressed one thing at a time. So in my 90 day program, Energy for Life, the first place we start is your diet. There is a particular way you need to be eating if you have a thyroid illness and I can help teach you that and I can help you look at your foods. I have a food and symptom tractor that says, okay, what are you eating now? What foods are on that? You know, what trigger foods are, are in your diet right now and what can we replace them with? I really, I went through a severe um, years of food lack. When I went gluten-free, dairy-free, there was nothing, you guys. You are so spoiled nowadays, you have no idea. There was like no food to eat when I was gluten-free, dairy-free. I just starved and it sucked and I cried. There was no cool noodles and chips and all these meat tortillas and everything we have now nowadays. And I just, I just suffered. So because I've been in that place of like massive food despair, um, I don't ever want to put my clients into that place. I want you guys to be able to go, okay, I love eating this, but this is a problem food for me right now. So what can I replace it with? Not like just cut it out and suffer like I did. Heck no. Heck no. Good morning, Kim. Hi. Hi, Liz. Good to see you ladies. Thanks for watching. Um, and so uh, month one of my program is really all about like, okay, how can we fix your diet so that you can have food to eat, 
but also so you're addressing the deficiencies. We gotta start getting the nutrients back into your system and half the battle is getting them into your system through your diet, okay? Um, I definitely believe in whole food based replacement um, therapy of like, okay, if you're low on potassium, let's get you some coconut water, let's get you some avocados, um, you know, things like that, like healthy replacements. Um, yes, I do believe in supplementation. That is exactly what my entire month two about is about. Um, we do some testing um, and then we figure out where you're exactly deficient. We will go into your vitamin D testing, vitamin B. We'll test your iron, make sure you're not anemic. Um, we'll do your hair tissue mineral analysis and interpretation. And then I will put together a supplement regimen based on your deficiencies and what it is that you need. And um, when we can start beefing up your body and getting everything uh, back in balance again, that it just, all of this goes into fighting off the infections, all of this goes into fighting off the metals. When everything is out of whack, that's when you feel like shit balls. When you when we can get everything back in balance, they all start helping each other out. And it's a beautiful thing. And our body is so smart and it knows how to take these things that we're giving it and 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 fight that fight and and get help get things out of your body and detox and cleanse and get you feeling better. And I've seen this time and time again with my own clients. We get, we, we start replacing things. We give them an adrenal support. We give them some iodine to help beat down the infections. We, we beef up, you know, their vitamin D so they can have energy again and B12s and just it, supplements are a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it is something that if you're not, if you're not including in your diet right now, that um, we can definitely work on together because it does help you feel better it really does um so the um the last place that i always end on with my my clients is is definitely our mindset so like i said in my own journey i was there i was completely hopeless you guys i was done i felt like i'm screwed i will never be able to feel better I'm just going to own it. I'm going to die from this thing. I mean, I was like, let it take me. And you don't trust your body. You lose complete faith in your body. And when you get, when you get to those points and you're depressed and you're anxious, you've lost your hope. You don't trust your body. You know, we got to, we got to recover from that. So month three in my program is called rewrite your happiness story rewriting your happiness story is so 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 important it gives you reason for living it restores your hope but trust me when you go through when you go through this process with me and you actually start seeing a difference in how you feel based on what you eat how you the answers you get from testing and you go oh <laughs> that's why that was happening it all just starts making sense and the beautiful part of all of this is it helps you restore your hope because answers equal hope right answers equal renewing your fight answers equal answers equal life it equals living and that's what i want that's the gift i want to give everyone is the gift of like your life back through your health. Restoring your health gives you your life back. If you if you have energy, you can you can tackle anything in life, right? If you don't have energy, you don't want to do shit. So, um Hi. We scored back. It's right there. My daughter loves breaking into the room when I'm in the middle of lives. You want to say hi to everyone? She. Hi. <laughs> She's my mini me, huh? Everyone. That's enough reason for living right there, right? So you can be a good mom, so you can watch them grow, so you can teach them 
everything. <laughs> um, so rewriting your happiness story is so empowering and it gives you, you find a reason for living, um, starting your affirmation, starting your journaling, starting your meditation. Um, it just really, um, it's, it's like the cherry on top of the whole process. Because if you can see yourself in the future, if you can see yourself feeling better now, or if you can see this beautiful fu future that you want to work towards, it helps motivate you, it keeps you strong, keeps you going. So, oh shoot, my phone's about to die. I should have charged it a little more. Um, so I am going to have to jump off now before it just goes kaput on me. Um, so that is the basic outline of like how to get yourself feeling better It's first you have to make the decision. I'm going to get better. I'm done. Hammer down, <laughs> hammer down. Then number two, we got to start figuring out your deficiencies. When's the last time you checked your, your iron, your full iron panel, not just, you know, one or two, like you want a full iron panel so you can see what's going on there. When's the last time you had your vitamin D checked? When's the last time you had your bees? Anything that the doctor will give you as far as deficiencies, request it. It's your body. You deserve to know what your body's doing. Um, and then you can obviously dive deeper with me on the hair tissue mineral analysis. If you really want to get some good answers, you can do the GI map test. You can message me and that will tell you all of your infections. It's a beautiful thing. Um, getting your metals, your heavy metals in check. That's brain fog, memory loss can't freaking put a sentence together you guys i i couldn't even talk before my brain fog and my memory loss was so severe heavy metals right aluminum i was super high on my aluminum go figure i had aluminum in my brain we got to get the heavy metals out we got to get the infections under control and then we got to rewrite your happiness story so i love this solution and that's why i built my program around it because this is what works. So I'm gonna go. You guys all have a wonderful, fabulous day. If you have any um, questions, feel free to message me anytime. And um, I'm gonna be going um, or doing a post today in my group. If you're in my group, yay, watch out for the group, uh, the group post. Um, I'm leaning towards a cleanse. If anyone wants to do a three day cleanse with me, um, but I am, I think I'm gonna also put a vote out in my group to see what everyone else is feeling. So um, if you're interested in growing and joining my group, you're more than welcome. It's at Coach Sarah, no, Coach SJ's Thyroid Sisterhood 143. I, I have it linked out in the bio too, just, just click on that. Um, so you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.